longer commissioners of IABC. Now, IABC does not have offices for former commissioners. You cannot come here and say, I'm a former commissioner, give me space to work from here. And so, as far as we are concerned, they are not supposed to be working here. And this has to be made very, very clear to the country that there's no place for former commissioners in the IEBC. So mine is to say that they came on Friday and uh, we were surprised to learn that they had retained some of the keys which they had not handed over and accessed their offices. But that has now been rectified. And uh, today they came back to see me, but we had prearranged meetings, meetings which are for activities of the commission and those meetings are ongoing up to now. So I didn't manage to see them, but I asked them to go and put in writing what they want to see me about. And if and when they do so, then we shall address the issues which they may want to deal with. Do you read mischief, do you read mischief in their return? Uh, I think from what you, you also see as a Kenyan, uh, today actually happens with the day when we promulgated the constitution, the 2010 constitution. And in that constitution, we have chapter 6, which deals with the integrity of public servants. And so if you are a former commissioner, you have cleared with the commission, and you walk back saying, I want to sit here and work. There's everything wrong. I mean, it's uh, absolutely wrong for you to go back to where you used to work and say, I want to work, without maybe being reappointed to the position, which again is not possible with the IEBC, because you serve once and go. So uh, it, uh, the issue of whether there's mischief or not, I think all of us can see. Now, the High Court ruled that uh, the due resignation process had not been followed. Uh, perhaps your statement now is indeed in contradiction to that ruling, which technically uh, makes them still uh, perfectly uh, remaining in office. Your Marimi. Yes. Marimi, now, there is a problem in Kenya. We don't read what's in writing. Uh, I would like you to read that judgment. I think I can even give you a copy today. The judgment is very clear. What the judge said is that the procedure of the commissioners resigning was not clear. And I don't know whether the judge had all the information uh, before her. Because as far as the commissioners are concerned, in another case filed by activist Tom Tata, they saw David saying they wrote to the president. That's all they are required to do. The only shortcoming of that is that they did not copy that letter uh, to the commission. Now, come to that judgment you are talking about. The judge said the resignation was unprocedural, but the judge went ahead and said it's in public domain that these commissioners resigned. And the judge went ahead to say that the, re the replacement of the vacancies must be done by way of appointing new commissioners. That's in the judgment. So I would like you to read the judgment. Let's develop the culture of reading instead of relying on rumors. Finally, the, replace the replacement, is it on course? Yes, we have gone to Parliament on three, four occasions. Uh, the JLAC, that's the Committee of Parliament which oversights the Commission, is working on a bill. And also the, the Senate Committee uh, is also working on a similar uh, concept. So that we now have a situation where uh, they set up a selection panel and then new commissioners will be recruited. So that's on course and I hope that uh, that will be done. But in the meantime, the activities of the commission are ongoing. We have uh, post-election evaluation activities. We shall be having a stakeholder conference between 11th and uh, 13th of September, where all stakeholders will come and join us to evaluate what we did in the last uh, election. And uh, many other activities are going ongoing. We have the CVR, registration of voters is uh, uh, coming up. We have uh, other activities of restructuring the institution is ongoing. So the commission is in full swing, and we are very busy at the moment. We even have a meeting which 
is ongoing. So they're coming as a disturbance. So are the commissioners getting full benefits? I'll answer that last question. Uh, which commissioners? No, the there is any commissioners in question. The ex commissioners. The, you know, the salaries of the commissioners of IBC is paid by a consolidated fund. That's through Treasury. It's not the commission that pays. And uh, as, that, as we speak, immediately they resigned. I wrote to the Treasury, the PS, to stop their salaries. Uh, now, I'm not certain whether that was done. Up to now, I've not got a feedback on my letter, but I believe that uh, uh, Treasury acted on the, the recommendations from the Commission that they are no longer in office, and I hope they are not being paid. So you're not Thank you. Very much. Thank you.